Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. An open letter to Hinam Dekanu. Dear Mr. Hinam Dekanu, I am morally obliged to write this letter to you as a former Hillai. Nevertheless, how do you do? I hope all is well with you before I proceed in discussing the crux of the matter. I wish to remind you that no one is born of a mere mortal is above questioning. And he who choose not to listen to the voice of the reason often dwell in a world full of regret. This might sound very nauseating, but the fact of the matter should not be misrepresented. As I extreme my point in this letter, I will suggest we eschew all forms of emotional parochialism and see things from a factual standpoint. point. On the hate of me in what appears to be one of the biggest legal maneuvering in the history of jurisprudence in Nigeria, the Supreme Court in Abuja ordered the immediate release of Senator Oji Uzokalu, who was formally sentenced to 12 years imprisonment for 7.65 billion fraud. I am not here to question the legality of the judgment nor rejoice over his release, but what perturbs me most is why you hurriedly said it was the constant attack of your group high poop that made the release of the former governor possible. Frankly speaking, this is one of the most bizarre statements I have ever had since the resurgence of Biafran agitation. How sensible does it sound to you, Mr. Nam Dekanu? That you have the power to pressure a monstrous government to release a man that looted billions and left his state in a serious economic coma, but lacks the module to also pressure the same government that arrested, battered, and imprisoned innocent men and women who queued into your convo convoluted message of freedom is quite disappointing. You are beginning to unmask your true color, wonders. The search shall never end. There are hundreds of hypop members languishing in various prison facilities in Nigeria with no hope of regaining their freedom. Unfortunately, as a so-called leader, you abandoned them and decided to campaign vigorously for the release of a man whose actions partly instigated their agitation. What an unfair word. Mr. Hinam Dekanu for taking credit in the release of Ojikalu I can categorically liken your action to that of a shepherd who cowardly abandoned his sheep when the wolves came knocking. There are hundreds of families who lost their loved ones because of you. Some lost their businesses, why many have been rendered perpetually incapacitated, all in the name of Hai Inamdekanu will restore Biafran. I could remember in 2017 how a poor widow whose only son was arrested during Trump's rally in Portaco City, tasked me to beg High Pope Central Command to push for the son's release. This helpless widow recounted how she sold every valuable in her possession in order for the son to regain his freedom from Portaco prison after he was abandoned by the organizers of the rally. What an irony! A man whose eyes has been gutted by a grave inferno is somewhere chasing shadows. Charities, they say, begins at home. But to you, Mr. Inam Dekanu, it is obvious that charities begins in abroad. Moreover, what even gave you the false impression that it was your constant rant that pushed for the release of Oji Kalu? If you don't know, it wasn't your radio onslaught. Only Kanu can tell what led to his freedom. If you still insist it was your broadcast on Radio Biafran that eventually cemented the sudden release of Oji Kalu, I challenge you to use the same platform to fast track the immediate release of hyper members suffering unjustly in the numerous prisons in Nigeria. My request is not too much for you to do. If you can do it for Oji Kalu, who almost boxed iPop. To a corner, why won't you replicate the same magic for your hardened worshippers? Or has it not occurred to you that what is good for the goals is also good for the gender? Magzi, many of your admirers may be scared to tell you point blank that you goofed over the issue of 
Uzokalu. And don't forget that not everyone will fall prey to your mumbo jumbo. Time and events have reinforced the fact that Radio Biafran London has been clandestined, hijacked to hash all forms of political patronage for its proprietors. Don't get it twisted because the whole saga is already playing out. However, I know that a lot of your emotional unstable followers will definitely misconstrue the essence of this letter. And I am also aware that some of them who are mentally wanting will resort to all kind of unprintable abuses as their own way of responding to my lofty message. But does really can't? It doesn't. What matters most is that the content of the letter has been laid bare without minding whose ox is God. In conclusion, whatever that goes on in your Frankia's radio is none of my business. The major thing that prompted the drafting of this letter is your double standard attitude. It is unbecoming and outright misplacement of priorities for you as a leader to fight for the release of an unremorseful political looter who is, who is a part and parcel of the catalyst that fueled the present behalf and agitation, while on the other hand, abandoning your followers who are perishing in the hands of Nigeria security agencies. My passionate appeal is that, as you are enjoying a breath of fresh air, wherever you may, you may be abandoning right now, the same should be extended to those men and women who are suffering because they swallowed your questionable rhetoric of freedom who climb and sink up. Their families are in their need of them. Please use the same magic wand you used for Ojikalu for them. When you do this, I won't hesitate to write another round of letting praising you for the fit warm regards. Wow. So guys, you've heard it all. What do you think about this? A man that actually like questioned the uh, Inam Dekanu because he was saying that uh, Inam Dekanu is, uh, was boasting that uh, he was the one that actually uh, helped Oji Uzokalu from being released from, uh, uh, from the prison. So you can imagine this. Look at what this guy said, you know. And a lot of people were saying that uh, your ma your mad think before writing rubbish canu said it clearly. Why should you old Oji Uzo? Only why not start from scratch? What happened to Abacha family? What happened to the money given to Aso Rock Clinic? Which Aisha Buhari said no single string. Then what happened to fourteen billion allocated? You know, and people are saying that a good write up. Wow. I clap my hands for you. I will congratulate you the more if only you will write to the presidency and to the cabals holding this nation to ransom and ask them offense of MNK and that of the Hebrews. And why are they not practicing the federation order of governments, Mr. Writer? By now, you're supposed to write to the UN and tell them about our government atrocities here at home in their so called Nigeria. You know, they said mad people everywhere, Mr. Writer. How many times have you written about the movement of this Almaji race from the north to the south? Have you sat down and think why this migration to the south, eastern parts, south, south, middle belt, and the rest? Whatever. If these people are not sent out to their homes, very soon problems will arise. The Fulanis are planning for something. Mark my word, they are for war. Mr. Writer, how many times have you made comments about the state of this fragile country? The state of this nation is sick, is collapsing, Nigeria is seriously down. You people never thought of saying anything, but to write an open letter to Maxi Inam Dekanu, that is where your problem hurts. Naira are falling, economy is bad, the government is in dark, no president, no vice president, nothing is working in the country, people are dying as a result of this deadly disease, Haps, especially in the north, you do not care to suggest what to do, only coming up here to write an open letter to Mr. Inam Dekanu, mad people everywhere, take your ideas to yourself, freedom fighters are volunteers, they were not conscripted 
Mandela of blessed memory of SA was in prison for decades. It is not an hero for a freedom fighter to be detained. By the grace of God, very soon they will come out. Do not castigate the leader of Hypope. Please pick you, pick up you good pen and write those things that would change your zoo country, not Biafra. Let me remind you, Ojikalu never requested you to write on his behalf or Abia State, which is my state, or Nigeria. Wow. Exactly because a lot of things is going on in Nigeria and that needs to be settled. Rather than for this man to be wasting his pen and start writing a lot of uh, funny things to Inam Dekanu, he would have direct all these letters to the government, to Nigerian government, and that would have been the best thing. So guys, what do you think about this news? What is your own take? Your comment is highly appreciated. And kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, I want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We we'll say God bless you. If you're here to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. Thank you so much.